Keep it high, keep it tight, I'm Jay Mercer, review guy, back to bring you another 5 minute review. This video shall not come as any type of surprise to anyone that watched my review of Godsmack's new album that released April 27th, I believe, and in that video I mentioned that this was a very, very good year for hard rock, post-grunge, alternative rock, whatever you want to call it, with a lot of bands that kind of are leaders of the genre right now, releasing albums and a lot more in the works. This is going to be a great year because there's we haven't even touched the surface. It's just now May, and we have gotten a lot of great, great hard rock, alternative rock, post-grunge type of releases, and I feel like this is a very, very good year for it. And I meant it when I said that I think this could be one of the best years. And, of course, we are reviewing the album... Attention, Attention by the band Shinedown. So Shinedown, obviously, I don't think they need much of an introduction considering that they are so, pr not prolific, but very, very well known in the genre that they play in. And I feel like for anyone that is watching this video, you should know who they are. Um, basically, this is another one of those albums. We seem to talk about a lot of them on this channel. Albums that are a bit of change, a bit of fresh a bit of fresh air. And not only that, but people it's a polarizing album. That's basically what I'm trying to say is that it's another one of those albums that has a polarizing type of feel behind it where the fan base has formed a bit of a dividing line and it's questionable to kind of see how this all plays out and how this down the road, and I'm not just talking weeks from now, months from now, I'm talking years from now, absolute years from now, where this album is going to end up in the kind of how the discography is evaluated as a whole, because Shinedown is a band that is very well known in this genre, and f since their inception, they have been playing this very aggressive breed of rock music, aggressive breed of kind of alternative metal music, and to a lesser degree, they are a bit similar to some of the other bands that call the genre home. It's something that kind of needs to be said that this is a very saturated genre. I'm not going to necessarily say that it is an oversaturated genre, but it definitely has its twists and turns when it comes to how much it's getting. And considering that this year there has been so many hard rock releases and alternative rock releases as is, it's questionable to see how not only this album is going to do, but how overall this year is going to play out. Because I'm wondering if they're almost these albums are going to hurt each other because there's so many of them that are in a kind of similar veneer that maybe people are going to get a bit tired of this formula and it could hurt the albums that are coming out as a whole and it might hurt the genre going forward with bands maybe not wanting to make more albums like that unless it's successful. If it goes over well, then so be it. So basically, attention, attention, it changes things up a bit. There is some softer moments on this track, I mean on this album, and it has a lot more kind of orchestral type of feel. It has a lot more of a soft alternative rock type of feel similar to what you would get from a Breaking Benjamin song such as The Dark of You off their new album Ember or The Ashes of Eden off of Dark Before Dawn and it is I think overall enjoyable when it slows down and I don't feel as if the band necessarily needs to put it full throttle. Now the only issue with this is is I feel like a lot of the other bands that are making these hard rock and alternative rock albums are kind of doing a similar type of thing where they're making these slower songs in the middle, they're making these ballads, sometimes one or two. Well, this one has quite a few. I gotta say, though, that Special is a really good track. I really, really love the lyricism behind that track, and it's built on a very, very great foundation that I think they play off of to a great degree. And if it wasn't for the fact that Shinedown has such a capable appealing lead vocalist as well as great instrumentation behind it, I could see it getting drowned out in the waves of this type of genre and how much is being released in this genre. But overall, I think that like the lead single, Devil, I think that a lot of the songs on this are very, very catchy. They're kind of classic shine down. And don't get me wrong when I say that this is a softer album. It is. It, it, it was said to be uh, heavier than Threat to Survival. I believe that's the name of the their previous album. Uh, 
I don't think it is. <laughs> I'm going to come right out and say it. I, I don't necessarily think it is. But at the same time, I think that it does what it's wanting to do well. I can definitely see the vision that they are going for when they're making for this album. And I think that they play with it well. And overall, I think this is a an album that needs some time to simmer to see how it's going to match up with the rest of Shinedown's discography. And overall how the fans are going to react to this down the road and if this is going to go down as a classic or a dud because for right now I see a lot of different differential opinions that are kind of surrounding this album. So anyways guys, this has been Jay Morse Review Guy. I'm going to give this album an 8 out of 10. I'll talk to you guys next time. As always, farewell. Yeah.